Hello, this is an introductory session on how to set up my EC Connect configuration tool. EC Connect is a configuration utility for Calcutech Sync series of devices. This session will provide an overview on how to get started with EC Connect, how to install the license files using EC Connect, and some of the basic functionalities that can be achieved using EC Connect. So, all new versions of EasyConnect Connect mandates an operating system support of Windows 7 or higher. So here we are using a EasyConnect Connect version 6.1.0 and I'm working with an operating system of Windows 10. So users who are new to EasyConnect Connect can refer to the EasyConnect Connect software user manual, which you can see on screen, which provides a detailed explanation on all the EasyConnect Connect functionalities. So I'll close the current session and freshly launch that from uh, desktop. So this icon you can see is the desktop shortcut to EasyConnect. Connect. So to install and uh, to run easy connect the user is supposed to have a admin administrative privilege so here right now i'm prom uh, prompted to enter the admin password so this is a login prompt of easy connect and the first thing that you want to uh, that you need to be doing uh, while you're launching easy connect after installation is to update the product license file so this uh, uh, file you can see here is the product license file which I've generated using my Kalki.io account. So Kalki.io is a uh, centralized device management system. So all users who have a Kalki.io account can log in to their account and download the corresponding license file. Uh, so this is a product license file and this is the device specific license file and this is a cloud connectivity license. So all these license files can be downloaded using the Kalki.io account. So there will be a separate session which details on how to use the Kalki.io account to achieve all these functionalities. So right now I'm selecting the product license file and I'm entering the password that was obtained while I downloaded the same from Kalki.io. So I entered the caps lock was on. That's why it showed that the password was uh, wrong. So re uh, right now you can see that I've successfully installed the uh, the product license to my easy connect and right now I'm entering the user credentials to log into easy connect so the default user credentials will be admin admin and again for the first time the user will be prompted to change the admin password so I have changed the password to Kalki123 and right now I'm entering the same so right now I have successfully logged into the user interface of easy connect 6.1.0 so we will uh, demonstrate how to add a device using easy connect so for this demonstration we will be considering a device with ip address uh, 192.168.100.108 or which is a sync 3000 m3 model which is present in our local uh, area network so by clicking on add device to configuration the device is successfully getting added so now go to the device license tab under the devices and the next thing that you need to be doing is to install the device specific license file so the device license file I've already showed to you before so I'm browsing uh, the same this file that is highlighted right now is the device license file downloaded from my calcade.io and again entering the password that is obtained while uh, downloading the same so I've successfully imported the device license file to my easy connect and now I am supposed to download the same or install the same to my uh, sync 3000 m3 device so i've entered the password of that and now the device has gone for a reboot so now we'll run a ping monitoring to see when the device is coming back to online state so in the meantime we'll familiarize with some of the uh, easy connect functionalities available in this uh, easy connect toolbar uh, this is an uh, option to uh, open a new configuration. This is an op uh, option to uh, open an existing configuration. So all files with the .ecc extension will be listed. This is an option to save the existing configuration file. So I'm saving this with the name new.ecc. So these are the options to download and upload the configuration that will directly demonstrate with the device. This is the option to uh, restart the device. You need to enter the IP address of the device in this field. And this is the option to uh, set the LAN settings. This is the option to scan for all the devices available in the uh, LAN network. So now our devices come back to the online state. So we'll do one thing. We'll uh, check the version information of the device first using this uh, version information button. Entering the IP address of the device. 
the device information will be shown here. The license information will list the list of protocol masters and slaves and supported modules. Version information tab will show the uh, version uh, details of the GPC, DCCP uh, and DC Connect. System information will show the total RAM, flash, time settings, the kernel version, everything. So now I'll, up, uh, I'll upload the configuration that is already present inside the device. So the upload is uh, can be achieved using the button, upload button, present uh, available in the taskbar of Easy Connect. And also by right clicking on the devices and clicking on upload. So now the configuration file that is already present in the device is now got uploaded. So now we'll uh, change this configuration and again re-download the same. We'll add a protocol master, Modbus TCP master. As you can see, uh, add a station under that, add a profile under that. So I'm not adding a profile uh, point under the um, corresponding profile. I'll be adding a Modbus TCP slave or a DNP TCP slave. Right now we'll add a DNP TCP slave, add a station under the same, and similarly add a profile under that. And I'm downloading this configuration to the same device. So after downloading the same, the device will automatically, EasyConnect will prompt whether to apply the configuration. So only if you apply the same, the change will be effective inside the device. Now the configuration is successfully applied. So now uh, coming back to the EasyConnect options, uh, this is the option to change the IP address of the device. So now I enter the IP address of device. So if I want to change the IP from 100 or 108 to something else, I can uh, do the same. And that option uh, is available for all the interfaces for the device. So since this device is a still R6 device, we have six LAN interfaces and there is an IP address can be set for all these interfaces. So these are the options to firm, update the firmware, uh, which is basically the DCP and GPC files, update package and system. You need to browse for the corresponding file, enter the IP address in this field, and uh, you need to click on OK. These are the option to uh, stop and start the GPC. So now I stop the GPC and I'm starting the same. So these are the options to get and set the time settings. So now uh, we can see I've uh, fetched the time settings from the device. So there is a difference of five minutes between the PC time and the gateway time. So if you want to synchronize the same, I can set the same. And this is again the option to apply the configuration file. This is the option to delete the DB inside uh, the device. And these are the diagnostic options that are used uh, to you know, um, monitor the traffic communication logs inside the device. You can select the corresponding master slave channels and you can click on that. So now all the traffic communication logs will be displayed in this screen. So now um, this is the sync DB monitor which lists uh, which basically uh, provides the data values of all the points configured in your configuration. So for that you need to enable the same in your configuration here. Go to the devices, enable the SyncDB monitor, then only you're supposed to basically enter the same. You can see the uh, protocol master channels are listed out here. So the and these are this is the option to fetch the device logs from the device. So now, um, again, uh, this is the option to uh, navigate to the EC Connect help file. So all the protocol specific uh, parameters and what all the configuration options and the, uh, a brief description on all of these parameters will be listed out in the help file. So, and uh, this is again the option to get the version information of EC Connect. So this lists the uh, EC Connect version as 6.1.0. So as I said, there will be a separate session on how to uh, achieve protocol communication and protocol conversion using Easy Connect, and there will be a separate session on how to log into your Calcute.io account and the functionalities that can be achieved uh, using your Calcute.io. So I hope the present uh, this particular session was informative. Uh, thank you.